So I have a theory. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that, well, I'm not entirely sure, but we keep hearing, like, breathing in the background, and it seems to me like feminine breathing. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> feminine breathing and, like, knocking on the door and stuff. I'm what wondering, if we're Anna? No, what I'm wondering is, not that if we're Anna, but if we are the person who kidnapped her or something, and we're hearing her voice and stuff. <laughs> yeah oh that's like we up. have her in the room and we're just like going through her phone like having a good time we're the demon like we're the bad person who took her and we're just fucking with everybody in her life yeah but then where's the room for the demon we're the demon okay we're the demon we're the bad entity i mean why wouldn't a demon fuck around with people though mm-hmm. so why not <coughs> just something weird <clears throat> is going on because we keep hearing knocking at the door like what's going on in the room that we're in mm-hmm just seems weird that we'd be like, open our door, see a phone on the ground, and be like, oh, oh, oh. So where do we go from here? We're almost out of batteries. We better charge this phone. Failed. Did you hear that? More breathing. Mm-hmm. Alright. Maybe let's go check our messages. Anybody respond to that? <laughs> Ooh. Sign up with Rainforest. Check out my reviews. No. Hope your standards are lower than mine. Mm. <laughs> no. Good things come in small packages. What does that mean? Like I think just short. Yeah. Whoa. Calm down. Work in progress. Oh, so we know that she's bisexual. Otherwise, yeah. her account wouldn't have woman. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sex not guaranteed. Yeah. A real catch. No. I'm Batman. I oh, like my it. God. I know that stock photo. Oh, that's a real guy? That's a stock photo. I've used that photo at work. I would I would swipe yes on this dude. I like him. A unique personality. I don't know what that means. Hmm. What does that mean? She's an accountant. No. <laughs> you're not unique if you're an accountant. Loves memes. Yeah. Too good to be true. Okay. Well, then you're not. Wait, so now we're just going to randomly start flirting? Yeah, why not? Let's just go with it. Hey, cool name. Where did you get it? What? It was a birthday birthday present. present. Well, mine was a birthday suit. (laughs) You probably look great in it. I do the occasional workout. So what you up to? You won't believe me if I told you. Sounds exciting. Try me. I'm I'm not who you think I am. No. Are you catfishing me? You're not some 50-year-old dude or something, right? Don't you have anything better to do? That's it. I'm done. Okay. You've been reported (laughs) for negative attitude. See, Mari doesn't know how to date in video games. Or in real life. Or in real life. (laughs) (laughs) all right let's see if we can be less creepy this time well i actually care about impressing her hey hey whoa another girl did i get my setting wrong uh you swiped right didn't you yeah but i wasn't really looking who i was swiping (laughs) since we're here tell me something What's it like, Spark? I. What is she? Is she just like? Listen, I'm not here to be your experiment. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking for love. I'm looking for some serious. It's pretty harmless fun. Is it though? Aren't we meeting literal strangers online? Aren't you scared? (laughs) I want to know why you have. What are our possible responses here? 
pick public places. Well, yeah, but anything can happen, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, gosh, what am I doing ring so much? I have this fear that the person who I'm talking to is not who they say they are. Well, your fear is justified. Uh, it's a possibility. That would suck so much to find out. How do people do this? I will stop now. While I'm I will ahead. stop now while I'm ahead. That's what my gut is telling me. Have you been reading the news? I just don't feel safe now with all these reports going around. You're right. Good luck then. I think I will just stick to regular dating. Honestly, I think we saved her life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk to talk to random strangers and impersonate somebody to save a life. Oh my god. Kappa feed. What totem animal spirit are you? Oh no, don't do this. I'm doing it. As sites, as sites begin to take cities. O- cities begin to take over our world, our natural lands, land disappear. We begin to appropriate Native American culture. We begin to question the wisdom of foraging, forgetting our roots. And by roots, Hold I mean. Go up for a second, Tiffany Hernandez. Along with the, the ancient traditions that can teach us a thing or two, one of the most beloved and tragic of culture loss are the Native Americans. We become the Westerners with open arms and receive bullets, disease, and loss of prop. Oh, they welcome the Westerners, yeah. sorry. With open arms and receive bullets, disease, and loss of property. Their culture pro- collapsed under the hail of gunfire and imperialism. And now they, can, they are surviving at the edges of modern society, pushed aside by progress and development. <clears throat> Side note, a lot of people don't realize how complex Native American and people in the quote-unquote new world how complex their society really was. They actually had trade routes that expanded the entirety of North America, uh, people in the Amazon had created this like ultra rich, extremely uh, fertile soil. Uh, I, th- I can't remember if it was the Aztecs or the Mayans who had figured out how to cultivate uh, food in a swamp where they basically had made tiny little islands in the swamp where they could grow their food and they would like take a boat to get to each of these like mini agriculture islands which fed tons of people like they were really smart and really advanced it's just that when people came from europe and shit they brought along like these diseases yeah that they had that the people weren't used to and so they literally would just get wiped out so what what happened was <clears throat> the first few sets of explorers came introduced these new diseases that native people did not have the immune systems because their immune systems had never encountered anything close to this. So they just got wiped out. And they came back 100 years later being like, look at these savages. Oh, they're so stupid. Blah, blah, blah. When really, I think about 90% of the population had just died. And like, they were rebuilding their community. So that's like saying if Native Americans, like, introduced the plague to the Roman Empire, came back a hundred later years later and be like, look at the Roman Empire, look at these idiots. Ugh. Like so it was the dark if what happened was a uh, European started like taking over North America and stuff during what would be considered like the dark ages of North America. Also <clears throat> it should be pointed out that these diseases were not always brought by accident. Some of yeah, them were, were some of them were given on purpose, like which is biological warfare. I don't know if you like if people have ever heard like the tales of like smallpox blankets and stuff. Yeah, like the Westerners would purposely give them things that they thought might be contaminated with disease mm-hmm. in trade, so that they would all get sick and die. And you know, I I'm sure I've brought this up before, but I just think this information is important because a lot of people genuinely think that like Europeans came and like made everything so much better. Like it was worth it because really we just made this so much better. Blah, blah, blah. But what really happened was a- an apocalypse happened in terms of a disease, like fucking zombie ass shit. And then they came in when they were at their lowest point. And fucked the shit up. So it's not like really that cool. 
The Canadians are at least trying to honor these people and the Australians painfully scaling back their prejudice. Americans are a long way to go, but we are at least starting to accept their identity, their way of life, and most interestingly, some of their philosophy. One of the most enigmatic facets of their tribal society is the association of totem animal spirits to each member of their large family. Traits and characteristics of the animal are believed to infuse into the connected person, reflected in both physical and spiritual qualities. Have a look through these modern animals and see if you can spot your total animal spirits in your personal reflection. So, um, I have heard from some Native people that they don't really take too kindly to the Western tradition of being like, like, this is my spirit animal, because it can be kind of disrespectful, because most people don't talk about it. Like, it, it's like you're taking, like, an integral part of the culture, and you're just kind of, like, tossing it around without a full understanding of Yeah, if you guys want to, you know, I'm, every single, co- I'm not saying, I'm not trying to invalidate the Native American thing. You can follow the route of trying to find an animal that's closest to you. By researching into your own culture how they expressed it. You don't need to do it the Native American way. Like, the majority of cultures has have some sort of, like... Tie-in with nature. Tie-in with nature that you can follow along. Like, you can learn more about your own culture. Not saying it's bad to learn about Native American culture. It's dope. It's cool. But, you know, you can take the opportunity to research cultures that you've come from. And if you, like, have seven different versions of white, guess what? You got seven different versions you can look into that you can like. Yeah. So, you know, let's say, you know, you're from, you're English, you're part English. Well, that means that you've descended from Druids, and Druids are pretty cool. They wore, like, deer skulls Isn't on their head. is mostly the Irish that are associated with Druids? Well, they're in the same area. Because I think that the Druids were originally persecuted by the English... Yeah. Well, there's there were also people on the main island. Who I just were I just I just really don't want to like any to say that English and Irish are the same thing because yeah. people get really pissed about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just want to let you guys know, like you have so many options. You don't have to be like, what's my Native American like totem spirit animal. You can be like, what's my druid whatever. You know, do research on that. I, like you have so many options and to celebrate all kinds of things you know you can respect a culture and be like that's cool i wonder if i have anything similar to that or something i might even connect with more from something i have descended from Mm -hmm. and i don't need i can like simultaneously be like that's really cool and now i know about that let's see what i can learn about myself Mm -hmm. anyway Ever loyal, it can sniff out danger and protect all costs. Never giving up, it was. It is a force to be reckoned with. When push comes to shove, very comfortable in small groups. The cat, a cool loner if there ever was one, the cat's independence allows it to venture farther outside its comfort zone, seeking new prey and exciting experiences. Its trust needs to be earned. The finch, that's he- a funny looking bird. Yeah, it's got no eyeballs. <laughs> These birds are full of energy, always with a song on their beak. It is a half full and. An- is a half full animal uh, like optimism uh, i think taking whatever opportunities is given and then con- and when conditions are good soar beyond limits the tortoise remembered as the ultimate winner in the race against the hare this calm creature believes in the long game seeking a steady consistent means of achieving purpose did you know the oldest turtle in the world is gay ah yep take that Gays live forever. Gays live forever. Fact. The ferret, now domesticated, (laughs) but among the pets, it carries the wildest spirit being so recently tamed. The outside world calls to it constantly, and its fast, agile feet bring it to new places safely. Gay fact. The oldest turtle in the world is gay. Hashtag gay facts. (laughs) Okay, already? No. No. Oh, wait. Go to that Ferris and Kane thing. That's that. You just want to look at the. <laughs> no, you just want to look the, at the clothes. That's the store where remember it was like he had the Ferris and Kane bag. Oh yeah, I can't believe I gave him the benefit of the doubt for like one second. I was like, maybe he's just getting her a present. Okay, looks for women. Call now. Ooh. Oh, that worked. Welcome to Ferris and Kane, your personal shopper directory. Press 1 to request for a shopper. Press 2 
to ask about being a patron. Press 3 to find out more about our latest promo. If you wish to return to... Thank you. To help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate Yolanda? what you would like to purchase. Press 1 for robes and cloaks. Press 2 for dresses. Press 3 for innerwear. Press 4 for shoes and footwear. Press 5 for gowns. If you wish to return to the main menu at any time, please press 0. If you know the extension number of your favorite shopper, ah. please press the four-digit extension. All right, so okay. we got to find out patron family. No, 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 We can find it. It's in the text that she sent, remember? Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Go to the chats. But I think we can get it from the gallery. Oh. Camera. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't go too fast. There it is. Right there. Zero four zero, zero five. five. Uh, All right, <laughs> this feels so good. <laughs> I'm so. You were good. like, "Oh, Stacy just wants to go shopping." No, I'm using my detective You're skills. You're genius. And shit. Okay, what was the number? Zero four zero five. Right. Welcome to. Fa Thank you. To help us select a person. Welcome to Ferris and Kane. Damn it. Thank you. To help us select a personal. If you know the extension number of your favorite shopper, Wait, please it... press the four-digit extension number. Okay, zero, if four, you... zero, four, zero, five. Thank you. Your personal oh. shopper oh. assigned to you is... Yolanda. <laughs> Due to our increasing demand, we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time. After this call, please wait for us to text you at our latest convenience. Thank you for picking Ferris and Kane. Have a nice day. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm Rhonda. such a genius. You are. Look at this. Look at this woman's pi picture. She's exotic. Thanks Thank for using Ferris and Kane. My name is Yolanda and I will be your shopper today. How may I assist you? Why did you fuck my boyfriend? I, oh, God. I feel so smart for coming to this. I'm not here for shoes. Perhaps you keyed in the wrong extension? No worries, it happens all the time. <laughs> We're just getting really... <laughs> I'm from the police. I want to talk about Greg. Greg? Summers? Who is this? What did that asshole put you up to? Hmm. So we both agree on something. So he ruined your life, too? What else is new? Oh, shit. See, Greg's the problem. Look, if you're looking for dirt on Greg, I am not getting involved with him again. Yeah, so she hates him so much she doesn't even want to get in on a revenge scheme. Wow. That's, that's think, hate. <laughs> I think we should aim to get her in on a revenge scheme. He just broke into Anna's apartment. Yeah, let's really fuck him over. He just broke into Anna's apartment. Whoa, hold up. Time out. Are you telling this right? It's true. Oh, I see it now. If you're implying that he actually did something to Anna, I highly doubt it. He didn't even have the balls to break up with me face to face. He has too chicken shit to be a criminal. He has two girlfriends? Me? Please. More like a side girl booty call. He cheated. Oh, yeah. I am all in for some casual fun, but having a girlfriend all this time, that's a low blow. <gasps> when she found out about me, all hell broke loose. And I ended up being the other girl. Okay, so she's saying I'm all in for casual fun. And he was saying, oh, she's so attached to me. I couldn't like. No, 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 no. That was my theory. No, because he said she was getting attached to me. That's he did? I think I remember him saying that. I remember like, saying that. I don't remember reading that. Though. Oh, okay. Well, the way he was saying it is like, I can't just cut off clients or what, whatever. Yeah. What, it doesn't matter. He's an idiot. I see. So he needed her. How did it end? 
When it comes down to making a choice, of course he went for Anna, and I get the half-assed voicemail breakup. Ew. Uh, gross. Oh, thank you. This is hey, Yolanda. I got your text. So, you know, now that the scare is over, I think we should stop seeing each other, like, immediately. Uh. It's not just that it's... No, it's been fun, but I haven't been completely honest with you. I have a girlfriend, and I want to make things work with her. We agreed to keep it casual, right? I hope you're not mad or anything, huh? No hard feelings. Man, they really went all in on making him sound like a scumbag. Well, it's a believable scumbag. I see. I, he was making it seem like he had to fuck her to close the yeah, deal. Yeah, I mean that's like when I was reading it. That's how it seemed like. But I. But it's also hard to tell whether that's how he presented it to self himself in his mind. You know what I mean? He's just telling. He's just full of shit. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. So he's a two timing bastard. Yes. So he is. At the end of the day. He still cares about her. If only he knows how to show it. Now everyone thinks I'm a bad person. Okay, well, see, that's the problem. It's not Yolanda's fault, and she's not a bad person. She had no idea. But also, you know, she's saying he still cares about her, but I think, you know, sometimes people, men or women, can sometimes see their, uh, not significant other, because I wouldn't say it for them, but their partner as their property. And if she's rejecting him in a way that he's like, this is so unreasonable, you can't ignore me. You know, I'm not saying mate for Greg, but some people consider them to be their property and to be rejected by their property is like not okay and they'll escalate. I'm going to posit an unpopular opinion and say that it is possible for somebody to cheat on somebody and still care about them. That's true. Those that two is things true. are not mutually exclusive. Yes, but I think the way he reacted to being caught yeah. was indicative of what type of person he is. Yeah. It's not your fault. Yeah. Who fucking asshole says this? If I knew he had a girlfriend, I would have stopped immediately. Stupid me. I hope that was helpful. You're not stupid. I gotta get back to work now. You're not stupid. You, I want to put... You're not stupid. You're not stupid. You're a wonderful, beautiful woman with a great job. You're going to get past this. Like, <laughs> I want to be so supportive. Okay. Hey.